Yeah. It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Lee Greenwood, who announced that at the end of 2024, he will officially retire. And according to him, that's it. Like, he, he won't just show up randomly to sing uh, God Bless the USA. Like, it's over the end of 2024. All right. Well, I'm sorry he'll never sing that again after next year, but you gotta retire. You gotta go. What are you gonna right. do? And Make him happy. Now he he it's he's had a, a great career. He, he Long loves career. Mm-hmm. Right. The the issue at hand is he says uh, he is 81 with titanium knees and a titanium cage in his back with 10 screws and two boys in college. He says at the end of 2024. It's over. That's it. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. He must have trouble going through security at the airport. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Uh, Dolly Parton did a big post online letting people know that she will be attending the uh, gigantic Tennessee versus Georgia football game this weekend. Oh, that's very exciting. Yeah, they're playing in Tennessee. That's her team. And uh, she's going to be there, so I'm sure uh, you'll see a lot of uh, Dolly on TV if you're uh, if you're watching that. Love. Um, Brittany Mahomes catching a little bit of heat. Have you seen this story? I have not. What, what has she done now? A couple of decade-old tweets have resurfaced, Candy. Oh, no. You see, I told you, people. Once you put it out there, it's out there for life. Tweets that she has deleted, but screenshots are circulating. Oh, dear. Um, she, uh, she wrote once about Taylor Swift, find something different to write about besides boys and relationships. And then when Taylor was winning stuff at an, at an award show, she tweeted an angry emoji face and the words, Taylor winning everything. So... All right. Mm. You know, girls are vicious. If you haven't found that out yet, they're vicious. Yeah. And jealous and uh, not easy to get along with. So I think Taylor has made amends for whatever Britney thought maybe she was. You know, you see these stars, you think, well, some people do have a I'm better than you attitude, but not mm. Taylor. Not Look, Taylor. Here's the truth. Once football is, uh, let's say her and Travis are together for a long time, maybe forever. Let's go with that theory. Once football is over, it's not like Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes are going to be best buddies hanging out every day. Once you're retired, they're, you know, they could be living in, in First separate, of all, you know, whatever. She's going to be wrapping up this leg of her tour at right. the end of this month, right? Mm-hmm. He's no, done. No. Well, she still has a whole nother year of the era. I know, but, but what I'm saying is there's going to be several months that they're both not going to be have to, have to do anything. Yes. Let them do their thing and let everybody leave them alone and stop taking pictures every five seconds. I like okay. that. Agreed. I like that. Uh, you'll see a lot of the networks start to announce this stuff uh, because the strike is now over. CBS just announced that in mid-February, new episodes of NCIS, FBI, Blue Blood, SWAT, and Young Sheldon will come back to television. Okay, the strike right. obviously over. We weren't yeah. sure. We thought it was already over. But yeah. now it's really over. It's Is that over. right? It's over. over. Got it. If if you're into uh, Garfield, the trailer for the movie voiced by Chris Pratt and Samuel L. Jackson, uh, that is out and May 24th the movie will be released. Oh. And finally, Denzel Washington is going to star in a uh, made-for-Netflix movie called Hannibal about the military commander uh, from way back in the day, in the Rome and Carthage days. And the team that is doing this movie is the same team that got together for Training Day and Equalizer, two really good movies, Candy. So, oh, interesting. Yeah. That should be fun. Uh, TV, ABC with Dancing with the Stars. It's Whitney Houston night tonight. Can anybody sing like her? Uh, I don't know if anyone's going to be singing. No, I, I agree with you. No, she, I, I believe she might be uh, the greatest of all time. All uh, time. But they will be dancing be to her dancing. music. Yes, yep. they will. I could think of better music to dance to, but okay. 
Well, we'll see. CBS uh, has NCIS Sydney. That's their new one based in Australia. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I guess that was in the can already, filmed and ready to go. So uh, they're premiering that. NBC with The Voice and Fox with Name That Tune. There you have it. You're bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, another cold one will be in the mid-30s to start. We'll get up to 50 to 54 and abundant sunshine again. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.